Welcome to Creative Bath Lab. My name is Dora and thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to make heavily scented bath salts that will remain clump free. I guarantee you, you will have all the ingredients to make this today. Please read the description for important notes, updates, and the full recipe. In order to make scented bath salt, you need to add the fragrance oil to a dry base powder. The powder will absorb the fragrance and allows the salt to remain clump free. You can use any dry powder that you have like arrowroot powder, baking soda, tapioca flour or starch, corn or potato starch, or powders that are specifically designed to hold fragrance like Natrasorb or Slick Fix. I've always used Natrasorb because it holds the most fragrance. I was surprised to learn that it doesn't hold that much more than the others. This is my experiment sheet. I made each base then added salt to each. The bases that hold the most fragrance are at the top and the least at the bottom. Slick Fix, Tapioca Flour, Corn Starch, and Arrowroot Powder are all about the same, with Tapioca Starch and Baking Soda being the worst choices. I didn't test all dry powders, but any one will work as a base. It's just that some work a lot better than others. If adding wet colorant, add it first. I recommend using a gel color as they're drier than liquid colorants. Now prepare the base. I'm using cornstarch because it's common and easy to find. Then add fragrance. High quality fragrance oils are recommended because a little goes a long way. They smell stronger, they smell better, closer to the original scent, and they last longer. I actually use Magnolia Blush for this project. You also have to add an emulsifier so the oil mixes in the water. and mix it well with your hands. The base powder should be dry to the touch. Add it to the salt and mix it together until the salt is evenly coated. Once everything is mixed, test the salt. Squeeze the salt tightly, then release. If the salt freely flows, then it's ready. But if it clumps, then you need to add more salt or less scented base. If you find this video helpful, subscribe now to show your appreciation. At this point, you can add color powder and or mica. This recipe makes exactly one 3.5 ounce bottle just like this. The salt should last up to a year.
The first thing that hit me was how good it smelled. I'm not even exaggerating. This little bitty jar of salts filled my entire bathroom up with lovely scent. Plus, it scented the bath water. The bath salt was great, really relaxing, and I also liked that it tinted my bath water and gave it a bit of sparkle.